Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'm about to show you a brand new AI tool called Tensor.art and potentially it could be even better than the Minimax. So in this video, we are going to compare the videos based on the same images as well as on the prompt. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, before I show you just everything, make sure that you click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, for both of the tools, I will leave every single link linked in the video description below so you can easily pause the video and go to this video description where you will find the links. Now, on the Tensor Art, make sure that you create an account with the Google. It's the easiest way and it's very, very simple to do so. Each day you get 50 credits and make sure that you actually collect them every single day if you want to really use this tool for free. Now here on the user, which I have here, you can click here on my credits and under the daily credit, you can click here and now you will see this message. You have already received the daily credits today. Now pretty much you have to do this every single day to get your daily free credits. However, there are also other alternative options which you can also add credits to your account by, for example, inviting new users to generate images, then host original model is run for one time, every time the published AI tool is run, or then you also have the last option, publish a post. So pretty much there are many ways how you can pretty much get some of the free credits on this platform. Now, let's get straight to the generations. Now here on this website, I will click here on the create and let's click here on the first option option. Now, here we have the model. So first we will have to go with the prompt. So text to image and then image to the animation by using this option right here. So here we have the models and I will click on this. And here you have plenty of models to choose from. For example, you can go for my models, but I don't have any. You can go to all and then you can also even go to the exclusive, which are apparently exclusive to this platform like this one realistic pony diffusion then we have hubg flux.1 however the model which i think looks the best or it's the most powerful it's this one right here and you can also see how many of the uses it has 8.6 million so what i will do here i will select here the flux.1 and here down below you also have three options basically development version or you can also go with the fast one or schnell in german here i will go with developer option and for the sampler i will use e euler I will click use recommended and here we have plenty of options pretty much. Here we have this VAE and here you can also see that this is the encoder of the large model and I will leave it as it is so to the automatic. Now for the aspect ratio here I will go with the landscape so 1152 by 768. However if you guys are creating content for other platforms you can pretty much pick whatever aspect ratio you want here. Now down below we have sampling steps, guidance, scale and other stuff here as well. However, I will leave everything as it is. And here on top we have the prompt and you can see here that the negative prompt it's currently unfortunately unsupported with the Flux 1.0. However, if you use different models on this platform, so tensor.art, you can simply use this um, option as well. Now for the prompt, I will go here to the Leonardo to find some of the inspiration for the image. Now let's find something really, really cool. Maybe we can go maybe with this image right here. It looks okay on the Leonardo.ai. By the way, I made a plenty of videos on Leonardo.ai and you guys can check them out on my YouTube channel, by the way. Here I will just copy the prompt and now I will go back to the tensor.art and I will paste this prompt inside right here. Now, here we also have how many of the outputs you want. Here you can see that you have to have pro account. If you want four images, I'll go just with two. And then here 
this is pretty much it, I think. You can also translate if you are, for example, typing in non-English language and you can also randomize the prompt and then we have the abstract here and you can also expand and improve based on the current prompts. Now I will leave everything as it is and here I'll click on generate and as you can see, this will take only 3.2 of the lightnings. On the daily basis, you get 50 lightnings, so make sure that you claim them. Here we have two of the images. I think that both both look good however here we also have this very blurred one so the first one doesn't look that good in my opinion and then we have this one right here which I think looks way way better now I think I will go with this one which I will here download and here what I will do here I will click on animate here and uh, I will go here with the model which is I will use the one which has the most use so maybe we can go with this one right here which is epic realism i will select this one right here and now you can see here the trigger words which you can also add and this is the photo realistic trigger word i will leave it as it is now for the video i will put it to the landscape and everything will be as it is now here i will go with the prompt and i will put the prompt here which is the same as i used for the image here and i will go back to here to the animate and let's see what will happen right here so we have everything pretty much dialed in and of course you can also see here that the generations will take much much more of the lightnings so here i'll click on generate and uh, let's go here to the minimax of course and maybe we can also do similar thing with the text to video here as well so i'll pretty much paste the same prompt here in the minimax platform as well and I will also put a link to this platform in the video description below. Make sure that you like this video, by the way, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying the content. Now, I have the prompt here. I'll click on this shell. And right now, hopefully, this will generate a really cool video. And hopefully, it will be a long one or the quality video. Now, let's go back to the tensor.art. And you can also see here that we are still currently waiting to start the generation process. So that compared to the Minimax, you can see here that we have to wait for seven minutes to start generating the video. Now, both of the platforms finished generating their videos. However, one thing which I've noticed is how much faster the Tensor.art actually was. However, does this indeed impact the actual output? So let's take a look. I'll put the videos side by side and let me know in the comment section which video you think is actually better compared to this exact prompt here. So let's take a look at the videos. Now on the left here we have the video from the Tensor art and overall it doesn't look that good yes it was faster generating the video however the details and everything everything is a blurry mess here and we have here some of the lights or whatever this is here and overall i don't think it looks that good to be honest compared to the prompt now keep in mind that we used the same prompt for the minimax as well and this result on the right is what it actually came up with. And I think it looks much better than the video from the tensor art. Yeah, we have the watermark at the bottom right. However, the whole video looks much, much more closer to the actual prompt, which we gave to the Minimax. And I think it looks much better overall. Definitely have some details. So the light here on the tensor art on the left, it's complete blurry mess and you cannot actually differentiate the actual objects on the image because it's a whole blurry mess compared to the minimax where we actually have the light here on the table as well as the person holding the smartphone so overall a clear win to the minimax and based on these two tests we can clearly come up with a conclusion that the minimax is still a better video generator compared to the tensor.art so yeah, this is pretty much the conclusion of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section which tool you actually tried. 
And if you guys haven't already, make sure that you click on the like button, subscribe to the channel as well. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.